All right, so I'm going to record the first part of what I'm going to say today, and then we're going to kind of stop. So I just want everybody to have a clue of kind of what's going on. So first, I was out on Thursday, well, what's today? Thursday, Tuesday, right? And I sent y'all an email, and y'all got out my video. So you remember how I was sick the week before? And I tested negative for COVID. But my partner, who I live with on Thursday, tested positive. Now, I'm fine. But because I love y'all, I decided not coming was the best. And I'm going to wear a mask at least for the rest of this day. So hopefully by the time I get back on Tuesday, we'll be all good. And then my ask of you all is please don't make me sick. Right? Like, I don't know, but it's been crazy. Have all your classes been like this? Like, yeah. So I have extra masks up here if you want one because you feel more comfortable, but I got things to do. All right? Y'all feel the same way? Okay. So on the board, what we're doing today is kind of a catch up. Because what I did get done during COVID is all of my E1 grade for my online sections of English 101. And I started in your class and in my second face-to-face -face class. So some of you all, about 10% of you all in this class, about 50% in my next class, have grades up for E1. And then everybody should have grades up for your discussion course, all right? So we're going to start today with talking about what that grade book looks like. So if you are not logged into Brightspace, you should be because clearly the attendance password is on the board. So we are having class today. It works? Awesome. I want you to click the link that says grades. And I will click it with you, but I don't have any grades. So it's not going to really help if you're on the board. It should look like this. Right? Everybody with me? Cool. So the very first thing you're going to see is your attendance quizzes. If you took them, all right, then you have a score. If you did take them, so you see how I didn't take them? You have these little lines. These little lines mean I wasn't here because I didn't take that quiz. The only exception to that is if we didn't meet as a class, right? I told y'all that if we don't meet, y'all don't have no attendance requirements. So for attendance quiz number eight, right, all of you should have a little line because I canceled that class. But that one doesn't count against you, okay? Does that make sense to everyone? Cool. All right. Next thing you have up here are your discussion boards. Should look something like this. Am I in the right class? Or oh, I'm in the wrong class. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm in the wrong class. <laughs> what is it? Did it change? Same concept. Okay. Yeah, that just is a bit more. All right. So there's this section that says spring 2024 discussions. Can y'all see y'all points for those? Yes, no, or maybe. Okay. So again, I don't have points as I can do them, so mine looks a little different, all right? We have had one, two, three, this will be five, four discussion boards, right? Right? So in theory, there are 15 points of feet, right? How many points is that? 60? Oh, 15 four. points of feet, and we've had four, right? I don't think, I put seven young, but I don't think any of y'all got 60 points, right? There we go. So what I want you to do is to look at your discussion board. If you have a zero, that means when I went through and graded these, there was absolutely nothing there. If you have that little weird dash thing, right? Like this. That means that when I went through and looked at them, there was something there, but you had done the completed assignment, right? Depending on what that assignment is. For the vast majority of you, that means you hadn't posted replies yet. Which is okay. I told you I was going to zero you out for that, right? We got to week eight or so before I'm going to start putting in zeros because you haven't done the reply, all right? Some of you, though, right, have your whole 15 points in there. And that's because you already met all of the requirements for that particular assignment, whatever it might be. Some of y'all went above and beyond. I think I got one person in this class that had like 10 replies or something. I'm like, oh, okay, that's awesome. You must have been really bored that day. Or it was really getting good to you. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Does that make sense to everybody? 
Does that equal what you're seeing on your screen? Yes, no, we're going to see the same. Hey, everybody. I'm going to share my screen with this video so y'all can see it. Okay, so on yours, that very first item should say spring 2024, right? And I've only graded four of them, right? Because we're on week five, right? Which means week five ain't new yet, so I didn't grade that yet, right? So that means that if your screen looks like mine, and you have dashes for each of these items. That means you did your post, right? What you were supposed to put in. You just have not done your reply. If you did your post and you replied to students, the rest of the people that you were supposed to, then I went ahead and put in your 15 points so that you know you're done with that one and you don't have to do anything else. If you have a zero, that means you didn't post. So there was nothing there when you were supposed to have done it. Does that make sense to everybody? All right. Okay. Now, hear me. I wasn't here on Tuesday. Y'all doing pretty doggone great on these group projects from what I can see in your docs. All right. Y'all feeling pretty comfortable with those? Mm -hmm. No. I'm getting, no? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be around to talk to you. All right. I'm giving y'all the rest of class time today because I know there is going to be a significant of people out to go back in to these discussion boards and posts, particularly if you have a zero, right? Go in and post. I'm going to give you at least partial credit if you go back and do this. But by Monday, right, those zeros are going to stay because I want to make sure that you all are recognizing what to do and how to do it, all right? So again, this is what it looks like in the grade book. To do it, course tools, discussions. Let's say I didn't do discussion board number one, right? It's the first one up here. All I have to do is hit the link that says DB number one in blue. Watch the video. Remember, this is the video I told you that was long. It's like 11 minutes. They do everything you could possibly think of in a writing process. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit the blue link that says start a new thread. It then gives me a subject line and a message box. In this subject line, I always tell you what to do. This time, it just say describe your writing process. Some of y'all put like, you know, fast. Some of y'all put last minute. Some of y'all put all kinds of things, right? One word or so. In the paragraph I told you, write a paragraph, describe what you actually do when you get ready to start writing something. And at this point in this class, you should have actually done this at least twice, all right? So when it was your turn to put together your draft section of E2, what did you do, all right? Did you go get you some coffee? Did you lay across your bed? Did you do it on your laptop? Did you write out in a notebook? What do you do in order to write, however that works for you? Describe it to me. And then once you've done that, press post. Again, as I said this every week, right? We don't have a textbook in this class. Because of that, we have a discussion board each week where you're going to be watching or reading something. And we haven't really got to the reading part yet, right? So far, it's been all videos. So you're going to watch the video and you're going to post. That post is always due on Monday. So that means this Monday, coming up on the 19th of February, you have a discussion board post due, just a post. And then what else is due Monday? In your paper. Does that make sense to everybody? Is this helpful? Y'all can use your time efficiently to go and get caught up. I don't like giving bad grades. I try very hard not to. It's very difficult to not pass my class. You see, I just took a whole class period and I'm getting ready to come around and see what all y'all working on to make sure y'all do these special ones. Okay? All right, have fun. Then I'm going to end this recording for those of y'all that couldn't come today. Same thing applies to you. Just make sure everything is done by Monday. Hi, people.